welcome back students we were seeing the topic enzyme so let's continue our session next enzyme action involves the induced fit hypothesis in this some proteins can change their shape that means conformation conformational changes are brought about so when a substrate combines with an enzyme it induces a change in the shape of enzyme the active site is then molded into the precise conformation and the bonds of the substrate are stretched to make the reaction easier that means and in uh, at that time the activation energy is lower so like this the action is brought about in which the enzyme releases the product and uh, the en enzyme releases the product and the free enzyme is ready to bind another molecule of substrate to repeat the cycle so it is assumed that the substrate plays a role in determining the final shape of the enzyme it induces the enzyme to alter its shape so the enzyme is partially flexible can say next comes the inhibitor now what are inhibitors inhibitors are the chemical that reduce the rate of enzymatic reactions or you can say the, uh, the enzymes are sensitive to the presence of uh, specific chemicals that bind to the enzyme so when the binding of chemical shuts off the chemical activity that chemical is called as inhibitor the inhibitor closely resembles a substrate in its molecular structure and they are usually specific and they work at the low concentration they block the enzyme but they do not usually destroy it many drugs and poisons are act are acting as inhibitors of enzymes in the nervous systems now poison like cyanide do not bind with the enzyme at substrate binding site but bind at some other site which are called as prosthetic group and inhibit the activity of enzyme and again acting as inhibitors let's see the type of enzyme inhibitors there are basically two types of uh, enzyme uh, inhibitors let's see the first inhibitor that is irreversible inhibitor these inhibitors combine with the functional group of the amino acids in the active site irreversibly example for this can be the nerve gases and pesticides containing the organophosphorus combine with the serine residues in the enzyme colin is acetyl colin esterase so basically in uh, the irreversible inhibitors combine with the functional group of amino acids in the active site irreversibly next comes the reversible inhibitors these can be washed out of the solution by enzyme by dialysis so basically there are two types of reversible inhibitors first is competitive inhibitor in which these compete with the substrate molecules for the active site the inhibitors action is proportional to the concentration so more is the concentration more is the action of enzyme so it resembles the substrate structure closely so the con competitive inhibitor is an inhibitor that competes with the substrate molecules for the binding of enzyme and such competitive inhibitors are often used in the control of bacterial pathogens next comes the non competitive inhibitor here these are not influenced by the concentration of substrate it inhibits the binding irreversibly to the enzyme but not at the active site example for this can be that as cyanide combines with the iron in the enzyme cytochrome oxidase and heavy metals also like uh, mercury and arginine combine with the sh group next comes the application of enzymes sorry inhibitors negative feedback is uh, seen in the inhibitor that means the end point and uh, end product inhibition is there Poison, poisonous you can say the snake are uh, poisonous which by when they bite or you can say the plant alkaloids and the nerve gases in that also it is used medicine antibiotics sulfonamides and sedatives stimulants they also act as inhibitors so students in the session we have seen about the types of enzymes as well as the types of enzyme as well as the inhibitors thank you